hello everybody on the 3rd or the 4th of May depending where in the world you live we've got a very powerful intense full moon at 13 degrees of Scorpio now Scorpio is the most intense sign in the zodiac so you can expect some intensity some intense emotions and feelings may be triggered at this time when I think of Scorpio I think of the night the evening hours that which is hidden that which you have to dig for you Scorpios you know you love to research you love to dig you love to find out what's unseen what is not so accessible so this full moon is shining a light on maybe the things that you've suppressed maybe the things that you've tried to hold in that you've swept under the carpet during this full moon in Scorpio it'll be an opportunity to look at them to dust them off and to free yourself because anything that you're suppressing and holding in is taking energy valuable energy and when you allow it to be released you get a whole lot more vitality now at the time of a full moon the Sun is exactly opposite in Taurus and Taurus <clears throat> is very physical it's the sensual self this is why I chose to come here to the sea the Aegean Sea because you can activate all your senses smelling the beautiful sea your feet on the sand the beautiful sight of the sky the sound of the waves and of course eating some wonderful food while you're here so it's important to be centered and grounded at the time of this full moon and especially because we've got Jupiter in tight square to this full moon and Jupiter magnifies whatever it touches so if, if fears are coming up then they're probably going to be magnified now Jupiter is in Leo and Leo is very much your outer life the fun the pleasure the activities all the busyness of your life and there'll be this pull with this full moon in Scorpio to look at your inner life your fears your attachments what are you holding on to for me it's happening in my fourth house of home and family I'm having to reinvent this whole area my deep relationship that I was so attached to I had no idea how attached I was to this relationship but boy I was in the pain of it when I had to let go of it but now I feel such a release of energy because all that holding on that neediness has gone and now there's an opportunity for something new to come in it's a wonderful time for being determined for being persistent for following through all these fixed sign energies give you that ability you also have to watch out that you're not in a rut that you're not got yourself stuck in a comfort zone and of course the minute we move from certainty to uncertainty that's when we experience fear and panic so allow yourself that uncertainty but know that the sea for example when I come and look at the sea every day it's different there's always something different about it it's new certainty is boring really it's terribly boring so you may desire that but the freedom and the rebirth and the transformation that you can have from this full moon in Scorpio because Scorpio is all about the Phoenix rising from the ashes it releases that which it doesn't need anymore what are you holding on to maybe it's physical stuff that you've accumulated that you're holding on to that you're paying maybe for storage and you're holding on to it what can you release to be reborn and to transform yourself into something completely new and different that's the opportunity of this powerful intense full moon in Scorpio so here I leave you with some beautiful shots of the sea here in the evening 
I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.